So check this out. I've got uh, both of my life size plushies here. Uh, just a little quick comparison between the two. So my Luna, this is Epic Rainbow Craft, and the Derpy was made by Kawasariak. So they're both life sizes from both of them, although I'd say Derpy is actually, seems like she's just a little bit bigger than Luna. Uh, definitely with the tail, you can see how massive this tail is on Derpy. This is a stuffed tail right here, or Luna, this is an unstuffed tail, but, but yeah, it looks good. I uh, got socks on both of them. Um, you can see with Luna, she kind of lays a little bit differently. You can see there's like a gap underneath her back end where Derpy lays more flat. Um, you can see the wings here, these are uh, mainly just embroidered right here. Or with Derpy, see the wings have like an extra layer. And then uh, top view, you kind of see the size difference. Um, Derpy is definitely wider. It's a uh, Kalasariak definitely could uh, make them wide on the back end. So if you want a plush that's a little bit wider, then I say Kalasariak one to go with. Um, as far as the faux hair goes, um, I feel like the Derpy plush is a softer mane and tail. Where this one, uh, it feels like it's it's soft, but not as soft as the one on Derpy. Uh, Derpy did cost more than the Luna Flush, and I think there's a few areas where it kind of shows. Um, but as you can see with the socks here, these are uh, like a minky material. Or this, uh, it's just, I'm not sure what type of material uh, this is, but. It's not, not Minky though. Um, Derpy just has embroidered eyes and eyelashes, where with Luna, she does have the 3D eyelash you can see right here. And also have like this uh, Minky material for the eyelid. But yeah, they both look fantastic and very very happy to have both of them. Alright, so let me show you the hooves here. Uh, what we got is um, socks here, socks here. Uh, this one is one where you just kind of pull off here. Uh, it's kind of like a stretchy material. Like see right here does have like the 3D hoof. See if I can zoom in on that right here. See, I can see you got the... I believe this was uh, sewn on right here. Kind of see a little bit of the hand stitching, but yeah, it looks good. I would say uh, Epic Room Crafts did a good job with the, the 3D hoof there. Then on the Derpy plush here, this one, the difference with this one is the socks actually unzip. So you can see how long the sock is. It goes all the way down to like back here. And this just has a little zipper they undo. So it makes it a lot easier to uh, install and take off. There you go, see that was, that was a lot easier. You can see this has the little zipper style here. So I'm just comparing to Derpy, so this one uh, does have the 3D hoof and then also has this embroidered part right here, which that's definitely uh, comparing both of them. I'd say this one is a little bit nicer compared to the one on Luna, but again, the Derpy plush did cost uh, quite a bit more, so I guess you get what you pay for. So we got right here, this is uh, the sock from Epic Rainbow Crafts, and you can see kind of the stitching right here. 
uh, it's individual pieces that are sewn together. And it's got like this uh, kind of like stretchy style material. I don't know if it's like spandex or, or whatever it might be. And then to compare it with the one from Kalasariak, it's also similar. Um, kind of can see the stitching right here. It's faintly. Yeah, there it is. But ha having this uh, zipper function, that's definitely a nice feature. I've never seen that on any other plush before. So, and yeah, this is a minky material, but you kind of see the size difference here. Um, Kalasariak versus the other one from Epic Rainbow Crafts. There's a little hoof attachment, or I guess it'd be Luna's horseshoe. Uh, and this is kind of like a felt material here. And it has like a little Velcro zipper. Or not zipper, but it has Velcro. So I'll put these on and kind of just show you what it looks like as well. So here's a view of... Uh, the rear hooves. Uh, these are kind of definitely more like heart shaped compared to the front ones. Uh, I think they look pretty good. I just say did a really good job with it. You can see some of the stitching right there. I'm gonna say pretty well done. I like it. Hey, yeah, these tails though, are pretty big. I think if this one was stuffed, it'd probably be just as big as the Derpy one, probably. Um, Derpy, another comparison, uh, does have, uh, let's see if you can see here, does have a tail dock. Uh, Luna does not have a tail dock, but that's alright. I think they both look pretty fancy. So. I just want to talk about some of the things that I've noticed um, that it doesn't really bother me, but there are some <clears throat> fine details that I have noticed. Um, you see the ears on Luna, they're slightly off I guess not as like aligned this way but it doesn't really bother me that much and then you can see your little crown is a uh, magnet uh, the magnet is a little off-center but that doesn't really bother me that much and then um, you kind of compare it to Derpy's ears Derpy's ears are pretty pretty much centered and aligned I would say um, if I was to compare the wings, you can see a Luna here. Uh, underneath the wing is just uh, nothing. But with on Derpy here, you see even underneath the wing it has like the layer right there. That's a nice extended touch right there. So has that extra detail that really could add up. Um, I think the only other thing is, I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like this uh, hoof is slightly bigger than this one. Um, I don't know. It just seems that way. Maybe it's not. But I still think it's a really good Luna plush. I'm very happy with it. Uh, those are just minor details that I've noticed. But other than that, I think it's fantastic plush. And I definitely recommend Epic Rainbow Crafts if you want something that is nice, that has a decent price. I think this Luna was approximately thirteen fifty, maybe fourteen hundred. dollars uh, The Derpy, that was a $2,000 flush, so you kind of see where the difference is in quality. The $2,000 one versus $1,400. 
but I love them both. Both mean a lot to me, and I would definitely would recommend Epic Rainbow Craft if you want something that isn't crazy outrageous like a $2,000 plush, but something still nice. Well, that was just a quick little comparison video of two plush that I have, both life size. Hope you like that. Uh, if you want to see these plush in person, uh, this Luna plush will be coming with me to Babscon next year, and this Derpy will be coming with me to Marefair. So that's a little update there, and hope to see you guys soon, and thanks for watching.